Hello, it's Sarah, and the sun is coming through. Look at that. It is a beautiful day. Well, the sun is out, we should say. It's not that cold. Um, anywho, I am making ornaments this year for Christmas to give to people, and I just wanted to share them. I started out with this type. I was making them with wire. I think this is 12 gauge and I made it on my jig and I just made a tree shape and then I just beaded it with wire and went back and forth and back and forth. These are some of the ones I didn't. I've already boxed up some of them and you know, this was my prototype for Catalina. I started putting words on them. I was trying to use small beads. I, I was really just playing around with what type of beads I was going to do. I think this is called um, crazy something, crazy coiling, crazy coiling. And these are fire glass beads that I have had in my stash forever. On this one I added some silver beads as garlands. So I've been playing with the wire and then I saw this tutorial for this style, the icicle style. And these are so much easier and faster. The only thing is I didn't have as many big beads because it's nice to have at least a big bead to start at the top and then work your way down. So let me zoom in and I'll show you some of these and then I'll show you what I'm going to be working on um, today. So this one is so cool. Um, these run about, let's see, 10, this is 6 inches from top to bottom. And I use 20 gauge wire and you start at the top and you make a little uh, loop and, and, and you tie it off, you wrap it off, and then you just bead, you thread the beads going down, kind of like a stick pin. This one was the inspiration for this. I got this in a grab bag type situation, so I didn't even buy this. It was given to me. Um, we went to, anyway, and then I just pulled from my stash, and this is what I came out with, and I put a little angel on the bottom. After you thread the wire down, you wrap it back around, so then you just start wrapping around and around and around until you get all the way back to the top, and then you wrap it around the top again, and then I even made these little hooks on my jig. So that's number one. I think that's a pearl. I used bead caps. I pulled from my stash for these. Oh, I want to go up a little bit because I don't want my blurriness. This one was one of those, I want to say Jesse James bead kit, bead um, strands, because it started out like it's like this. I have more that I'm going to show you. So you start out like this. These were from um, Joann's. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Either that or be lining. No, these are Michaels. Um, but usually you get a big, big one and then it goes the same on both sides. So you can pretty much get two ornaments out of this. So if I don't use, so I'll definitely do this one. That'll be, that's what I did on here. I mean, I think I might have thrown in a few of my own. This, I, I think I did. I think I, I don't, sometimes they come with a metal one. Um, where did I put it? <clears throat> it depends because I have so many beads that I just pulled from my stash too. Um, anyhow, so this will be what I'm going to do for this one. And then I'll only have this left, but I'll add my own. I'll add like a big gold pearl or something, you know, and make another one. So this is the second one. Again, just get your wire thread them through and then when you get to the bottom you just wrap the wire back up around until you get to the top and I made the hook so that's number two I think this is the other side of that one see so this is what I did I just pulled from my stash to complete I don't even think anything else from that side. Like, I totally mixed and matched. Um, yeah. 
but I love it. I love them. They're so beautiful and they're easy. They're very easy. They work up really fast. The hardest part for me is to pull all my st stash. This one is adorable. I went out and bought some more beads yesterday because, you know, I wanted bigger ones. This was from my stash. Had it forever. But this strawberry, I couldn't resist. I mean, I know it's not Christmassy, but it's so blingy. So I just did a red and green one from my stash. I added a little red cat because I bought these cat beads. A green butterfly, so it's kind of like a nature one. And then there's a red ladybug. And I put these flowers in, that, there's a flower there. And then this I've had forever. It's just like a charm, it's plastic. But it has like glitter confetti in it. Look how gorge. I love them so much. It's just like an icicle. Okay. Then these are the Christmassy ones. I went back for more of these. I, I think though, I think I had this strand for a couple years. It was just snowflake, snowman, snowflake, snowman, snowflake, I think. No, it was probably only two snowflakes and two snowmen. Anyway, and then it had black beads. Um, and I just looked through my stash. These were in that grab bag that I was telling you about. And this was the snowman that they had this year. I think I got these at Joann's. And then I just put a blue angel on the bottom with a bell. So to do this one, I just made a wrap at the bottom. Instead, I made a little loop on the bottom and wrapped around. And then I started wrapping. But I wrapped them all up. It makes them more sturdy. So it's just like a little icicle shape. I did two of those. Pretty much the same exact, yeah, the same exact thing. I did two of those. And then I had this Santa in my stash forever. I'll come in on this one. I did not, I used to make stick pins. And I can't even find my Christmas stick pins. I don't know where I put them, but I have them somewhere. Because I move things too much. I don't know where I put them, but anyway. He was the one, he was one I let, had left over. This is a Christmas bead from like a Christmas bundle. I found these at Michael's this year. Look at the penguin. Oh my God, I cannot stand it. He's so cute. And a Christmas tree on the bottom. It has a gold star and a little Christmas tree. And then there's a red heart. And they do get twisty sometimes. But I just went with the red and green th theme on this one. And that's a one of a kind. Because I, I, I think I have duplicates of this and this. I have more trees too. OMG. I think I'll, you know, I'll keep that. Oopsie. I'll keep that. I can definitely, I could probably make another one of these. I don't have any more red cats. Like these are one of a kind. So. What I'm going to do now is show you, if I can, the process, and it's going to be a little, um, you know what, let me move this whole thing over here, and I'm going to bring in the stash I bought ye uh, yesterday, and this is going to be pink and gold, pink and silver. These are actually... Um, rose quartz because I'm going to gift I want to make a gift of one of these so this is rose quartz <coughs> these are rose and strawberry quartz <coughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna do that maybe put some garnet with that no not garnet amethyst we'll see so I'm gonna set them aside I mean not that they couldn't go in here but look this is the stuff I bought yesterday so this is kind of leaning toward just like pink and white. This is Michael's bead landing. So here's with a heart at the bottom. I mean, come on, so good. But because I don't have, you only have the one big one, I might have to use one of these for this. So we're, I'm going to take these apart and I'm going to play. But look at this big heart too. So maybe I put the big heart at the top. 
that's what I'll do. I'll show you right now. So I cut this apart. <clears throat> So this one, I'll just turn it all over. We'll have a big heart at the top. And I might, I could rearrange them. I might not love this bead. It's just kind of plastic, so maybe I'll take, um, say, this bead. It's a glass bead, you know? So I don't love that. Um, so that's what I do. Sometimes they're a little beat up or they're not, they're just not to my liking, you know. Um, so I replace them with something that is to my liking. Uh, that, that, don't like that. Oh, you're, I'm not even in the shot. I have this. This is from another, I'm sure, from another set that I used. Look at that. That will play so nice. And then I have like um, bi cones. And I just put out a bunch of, look at this. I had this in my stash that I hadn't used. So I could totally use that. You know? So I just start to audition. This is when I audition things. So here's a nice bi cone. This bicone bead will sit in that hole and kind of makes it more substantial. And it will also sit here and it kind of connects them, right? So I don't know if I really love these either. I love, um, what is that called? Cat's eye beads. I might even have round, I have little round ones. I have these little round cat's eyes. But maybe I don't put the cat's eye and I put, um, I actually have this. This is just silver and pink. Maybe that goes down there. You know? So this is what I do. Also, look at all these. So this, I'll just set them aside for a sec. This was other strands. These are, I think these are just plastic. Yeah, these, they're plastic, but look at the bling that you get on those. And those will go in snow-themed ones, too. Like, I could have put these in the snowflake theme. So I still have some more of these little snowflakes. I mean, snowmen. <laughs> you know, so I will... It's so cool. Look, and we'll see this. See, this is what happens. They, they're kind of broken. So I might not use that. But this came with another strand. Um, so you get the drift. See this little snowman? I have more of them. Um, and I got this silver. This is plastic too. And these were from Hobby Lobby. Bead Treasures and Bead, or Hildy and Joe. So I got those. These are glass with little flowers inside, I think. And I thought these would look so cute with the nature theme. I'm going to do pink. Look, this is this is older. I had these in my stash. I'm going to do pink and green. This would look good with pink and green. One of the hearts would look good with pink and green. Um, look, this is pink and green. So this is basically the same as this. Only this is pink and white, and this is pink and green. So... And this, this is dark pink with a, a green, so I have dark pink this. I don't know if I love that. How about, um, I didn't really, hmm. This is a pink angel. Here, this. This was in my stash. See, look, I made a little um, kind of dangle with it, but I'll cut that apart and repurpose it. Because it's just sitting in my stash. I never used it for anything. And now I have another piece. This is a nice dark pink. I don't think it's the same. I thought I had another dark pink. Uh, I'll find it, trust me. I have, I have stuff so... I have stuff everywhere. 
here we go. Say it's the same now. So I probably wouldn't use both of them. Um, I have so many. Look at this little. I think I got this at a bead fest. So this would be kind of the star of the show. Let's see if I would use a pink. Like look at that. And do pink and black. I love it. I'm so excited. All right. I you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange a few and then I'll show you how I string them. So I'll go off camera and I'll come back. But look at this. Now this is more of a gold concept, pink and gold. See, it's got like a tan background too. So they have these kind of tan color. I have lots of these. Look at this. This was in my stash. Like that would go. I mean, it's it's like one of those shapes, like it's kind of a French shape, I think. But that would go with that. And then this one, see this has the tan, more of a cream background instead of white. This one's with red. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to arrange some things. Look at this. These are just like pressed glass. It says, check glass beads, coin mix. So they're flat. But I mean, I just thought, look, that'll play with that so well. Like I don't love this like kind of yellowy color with it as much, but it would go in something else. Like when I did the, um, I was going to put yellow flowers in here, but I never did. Um, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It looks perfectly fine. Oh my God, I can't wait to play. All right, so I'm going to arrange one and I'll be back. Okie dokie, I'm pretty excited. I think this one I'm going to do right here. So I'm going to use the Let's see, the Artistic Wire 20 gauge tinned copper it's called. So it's just silver in tone. It's not real shiny like silver and the gold. This is um, actually not called gold. It's called Red Brass. I got this on Amazon, I think, but it's soft and that's why I like it. But this is fine and I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. This big roll, this big spool, 20 gauge. I'm gonna take about 24 to um, 28 inches or so. Um, I'm going to cut myself. It's not spinning. All right, here we go. Uh, right about here. And whatever I cut off, I'll just use for to make um, some more hooks. I have a silver hook ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do is make a loop that I'm going to add my hook to. So I'm just going to take the wire and put it about halfway down my round nose pliers. Well actually let me just make a little turn first and then halfway down and I make a loop around. Take my pliers out. This is like the, the thing I'm the worst at but anyway this is what it kind of looks like something like this hard to get it to see that. Then I'm going to hold it with my flat nose pliers. I'm just going to hold the loop still while I just wrap this up around the straight, the long part. It's a little fudgy and because we're going to end up wrapping the end once I've threaded all the bead, that's plenty, that's plenty of wire. I'm going to snug it a little. Um, it doesn't have to be really, really neat because the um, I'm going to wrap the, the end around the top again. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to cut this and just like try to make it so it doesn't stick out. Okay, good. I did that. Alright, and then we just start stringing. So I'm going to start with this black bicone bead. It has like, 
I think I'll come in, but I mean, it, oopsie, it'll come out a shot if I keep, you know, so I'm just threading, and then I'm going to go, and I like to use these bicones a lot when I'm using, when I'm doing hearts, because now I just have to make sure that, okay, good, I'll show you what it looks like. I just wanted to use, so see how I have two hearts? The bicone kind of fills the little heart the little uh, cleavage part right and then I I'm gonna try these two little tiny black ones to go on top of this pink one but I might um, just I have I have the bicones I might just use them all the way down but I'm gonna try these little tiny ones especially yeah this this 20 gauge fits just fine that's the good thing about this size wire it's strong but it's also most of your beads, the hole in most of your beads is going to fit. It's going to fit most of your beads. And especially this, I use um, pink crystals. And again, I'm just going to put that down. This glass bead, this is, um, these holes are pretty big, but I like to put a bicone in there it kind of makes it sit nice so I'm going to use th this I have a little bit of a bigger one I only had two of the, that size so I'm going to do that just to keep it'll keep the bead from wiggling around too much and even these little uh, these are actually probably Swarovski crystals I've had a lot of Swarovski crystals in my stash um, and now I just get the um, they're called uh, um, I can't think of the brand name, but see how it's looking so far. I wanted to bring the green in from this bead. I think I like it. And then I found this randomly, this bead right here, it's like a leaf. It's greenish. It has green, I don't know. I'm going to see what this looks like, but I think it just, I like the idea of it because it ha there's like, you know, there's a flower and the leaf, I think it plays perfect and it's kind of shaped like a heart. And then I was going to put this butterfly on the bottom, which I think I still might do, but it's getting kind of long. And I also could put this uh, uh, angel. So either the angel or this butterfly. And there's not a lot of silver on here at all. So see, I had a few, but the silver from here, which I don't love this bead, if I'm honest. It's a little janky, but I think I'm going to go with it. Um, there really isn't any other except for this one. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. It's a different color. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I think I might just go with this and guess what I can always take it apart and do it again but let's see what the butterfly looks like at the bottom and then I'm gonna make a loop so that I can dangle another heart so right now or I have a heart so I'm gonna I, I know this is so fudgy but I could put a heart which I think I should do now it's making me think heart 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 or butterfly with a heart I think I'm putting the butterfly and then I'll end it with this this is like a dangly heart so I'm gonna put this pink butterfly and then I'm gonna need to make a little loop before I start wrapping this so this is it this is what the whole thing looks like I'm gonna see how long it is compared to so I could still probably fit the angel. I think I want to put the angel. Let's just see what it looks like. So all I'm going to do is put the halo first, the little bead for the head, the wings, and then the body. I like it. I mean, who doesn't love an, uh, an angel? 
right? There's no black down here, so I kind of feel like I should put a black bead at the bottom. I have these little tiny black beads in here. You see, I know you can't really, I'm not in the shot the whole time, but I'll show you. Okay. So just to finish it off, I think I like it. I'm going to go with that. It's so cute. All right. Now, to make the loop at the bottom, I'm going to take my round nose pliers again and grab it right at the very bottom and make a right angle. And then I'm going to make the loop. So I just go about halfway down, loop it around, take my thing out. And then I'm just going to take this and just go around until it, maybe twice. And that's it. So I have a loop down the bottom and at the top. Then I kind of like to hold it how I want it to face. So the hearts I want to face forward. Um, and I just take this wire and go around each section. It's, it's pretty, it do, it, the wire just does it, like I'm not being that specific until you get to the top. And then you want to just put it right where you made the, oops, the wraps before and just rewrap right over where you wrapped. And that's it. It got a little bendy, but I'll see if I can straighten it out. And that looks good. I'm going to make sure it comes up to the top. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it with my flush nose pliers. I don't want to cut the other wires. And then I just use this little, these little pliers to just make sure it's not sticking up so nobody gets poked. And that's it. Then I'm going to take this. It has a, this is a, a dangly heart. So the, the hole goes sideways like that. So I put a jump ring in it. And I'm going to open the jump ring. And then I'll hook it on that bottom hook. <clears throat> this actually would look really cute on this one. I don't know what else I could put on this one. And I already made, because I don't, I don't put a, a Oh, I open a loop on the bottom of all of them. You don't have to, unless you're going to dangle something. So that is it. And then I have a hook. And I make these on the little jig. So this is a silver hook. I'll show you how I made it. And this is from that tutorial I was telling you about. So I'm just going to open this, put it on the top. close it. So that's all done. Can you see it? It has a hook on top and it just goes down. I like it. It's so cute. These are so fun to do, but I don't know if I would, I might make a dangle out of something else because, um, what other, I have bells on the bottom of some of them. See, this one doesn't have a loop. It's just it just finishes off where it finishes off. This one I put a bell, which is cute for an ornament, right? And on the Santa one I put a green bell. I have red bells, silver bells, um, but like I have charms. I have a whole bag full. Look at this. These angel charms. It was just that there was not a pink one. This is kind of pink but it's not the same color pink and I would like to put like something black even like I could make my own dangle um, in black 
So I'm going to show you how I made that hook. So all I did is I kept the shape of the tree on here. My tree shape is still here, but this is the little, um, the way I arranged, and I just, she didn't tell us how to do it, but I just kind of looked at what she did and put them in approximately where she put them. And just this piece that I cut off, the silver, I'll show you how I, You make a loop with your round nose pliers, big enough that it goes over the peg. Sometimes I don't make it big enough. See, it goes over the peg. Then you just wrap around this bottom one, and then you wrap around the other peg until, and then you cut it. I'm gonna use it this way. And that's it and then you have a hook but I she hammered it so I'm gonna hammer this and I'll show you why when you hammer wire it kind of it makes it harden it hardens it so I just make sure it's not wonky and I oops straighten everything out as best I can get it kind of like that then I just use this little um, anvil that I have and my little hammer I got this at Michael's and I've already broken my um, my nail polish because I so I just hammer it and it kind of makes it look um, flat and, and a little bit more reflective sometimes if you hammer um, wire that's been coated it doesn't look very good but now I have an extra hook And I'll save that for the next one, which I think I'm going to do this one. I like this, and this is just pink and white. And I think I'm going to do this in, um, I guess, silver or gold. Gold would look pretty. Maybe I'll use a piece of gold this time so I can just show you what it looks like. So again, I'm just going to take about 24 inches. Oops. I've never um, needed more than that. And I could probably go shorter, but I just don't want to run out. Um, and again, make the loop at the top. That's kind of what gets everything set. So I just leave a little, like an inch worth of wire, make a right angle, and then just wrap the top one around and put it straight down, and then take that out and put it back in and kind of start wrapping it. doing it with your finger is a little if like if you were making which I'm I'm not making a ton of these right now um, but your fingers do get a little sore from um so I have these other pliers that are like bent I don't know oh I messed it up and you can just take these and use it to wrap your wire with I also like to straighten them out like Pull them down a little. Yeah, that was not a good wrap job at all. I'm going to cut it off. I don't like it. Well, wait a minute. It's straightening. It's getting straightened out. I'm probably not even in the shot. This is not my forte doing a tutorial for this, so I guess you get the point. There's other out there that could really help you with... Um, this part of it much better than I do. I'm just an amateur and I think it looks good enough. Maybe I'm just the one to prove to you that it doesn't have to be perfect. And honestly, just have fun. That's what I do. All right, so I am going to start at the top with this big pink bicone. Let me see if I wanna use, um, I think I wanted that to be there, so I need I'm going to use two of these. Hmm. I messed up the order. I think it was this. I think I need more bicones. Anywho, 
you get the point. So here's the one I just did, the pink and green. And I will continue playing, but look how cute. OMG. I, how am I going to give these away? Look, and I even had this little green flower. There's just so many options. And here's another bicone. Okay, good. When I hit the beads, they... Here's another one. Okay, good. Maybe I can finish this one then. Um, because this, see how big the holes are? Those bicone beads really make it, they hold them. So what I mean, what I mean is when you use that as the top, then you put this on, it sits right in the top of the bead and holds it snugly, snugly. So I am going to use two of those to hold this snugly in place and then just start feeding this down and then again on the heart it's such a great it fits so perfectly with the heart let me think was I gonna put I think I'm just gonna use this one you really need these on this see look how big that hole is so I'm gonna use this big guy And then another bicone with this little, oh, nope, I was going to use these for the little heart. These are kind of like a white, it's, it's a frosted white bicone that honestly have been in my stash forever. And I just, like I said, I pull them until I feel like, okay, I did that already. And then let's see what it looks like. So this is just really simple. The hearts, I think we need a round, and I was just gonna use a pearl, and then this other heart. Do I wanna do that? Nothing else is really calling to me. This, this bead could look really good. Then I might just use a little tiny bicone for this heart. Do I want to use this or the pearl? I'm going to try the pearl first because it is the right size. And that's probably just a plastic pearl, I don't know. But is it too white? Yeah, I don't think I like it. And I don't think, I think this might be better. It's a glass bead. I'll show you. Hold on. Hold on to your hats. Okay. And then see it's kind of a clear with a little white swirl inside. I like it. Maybe I should use these up here. Because this has a lot of the white here, I think I should use those bicones down here. And this is just part of me designing. So I'm going to start all over. I like I like the um, the arrangement though, so I'm just going to substitute out instead of the. Um, big pink bicone. I'm going to use these at the top. Mm. Yeah. I don't even know if you know if you can see me what I'm doing cuz I'm so enjoying this. It just makes me happy. Okay. Then the pink. Yes. I think I'll use the smaller pink right here and the bigger pink here. And then this beautiful. I think I just found that in my stash too. And I think it's awesome. I'm gonna put this little pink bicone. I grabbed a different one because this is a little brighter. 
I want it to be this soft, soft pink. Yes. You see how I pulled up this frosted color up to here? Because there was nothing really white up there. So I pulled that up there and then this fills in down here. If I had another one of those, I would have loved to use them all throughout, but I didn't. I think I only had those two. I have these little tiny pearly beads. I think I'm going to put this on the very bottom. Yep. And then I will just end this without a loop so that it's, I'll show you how you just end it without a loop. So I'm just going to take, um, I really don't even need to use a plier, but I just like to because you get a much stiffer, a much better bend. And again, I'm just going to start to wrap around. each section until you get to the top and then you just line it up with that top wrap and go right over top of it as neatly as you can and this one was messy to start with so it's kind of messy and then you can straighten things like I kind of like the hearts to all face forward so I think I did that and then we just want to make sure this is sitting I personally like to hold the loop with this and just just so I have some control I think I might cut that am I done wrapping yeah I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna tuck it eh, I'm gonna cut it on this side This is gorgeous. This little plastic bead, it's so blingy. And then you just squeeze it. Try to make it look stacked as best you can. Ugh, this is like a really janky um, wrap job. But I think it's going to be okay. OMG, it's so cute, you guys. So that's just all baby pink and pearl. And then I have another, I have a gold hook that I already made. And I like to hook the, the longer section. I mean, this was, I could probably adjust this, but it, it works for me. It's working just fine. Put that on. And there you have it. And you can leave it with the gold showing, with the wrap showing. Here's another one. This one's in like gold with, look, look how cute. Can you see them? And then where's the one we just made? This one. OMG, they're so cute. I am enjoying them so much. So that's it for today. I still have so many beads to play with. Look, I didn't even use these. I'm going to play with these next. OMG. Look how cute they are. I have, and I still have all these to, to add into it. I probably won't do the... I still could do green because I had those pink with the green. See these dark pink with the green? So I would play with those. OMG. I'm just excited. It's so fun. So, and look, I didn't even use this one. How did I miss this one? Where was I going to put it? In here? And I didn't? OMG. It's okay. Oh, look at this. I have, oh, I have two of those. OMG. How did I not do that? I think I was going to put it here. But I like that. Alright, you guys. That's it. Thanks for watching.